don't really have a script for this one again, I guess. Sorry. So let's just see if I can remember what I did. It's uh, disarm. So we're going to uh, take away weapons from people, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's whatever. Let's let's get into it. So in shooter core, I'm still in 5.2. I've, if it did been debating updating to 5.5, I need to because the parkour stuff, which I'm going to be doing soon, I think I'm just going to do one more video on, what what is this, on the combat system, um, kind of a taking a hostage maybe, just to uh, to show that. I think that could be um, useful in, in showing how to do possessing another character. I don't know. I, I'll figure that out. But anyways, let's, let's do this one. So this one is stealing a gun from someone, knocking it out. Um, of their hand, grabbing it and, and putting it in your inventory. Uh, you can do it with swords, whatever. But um, okay, so we're in the the plug-in shooter core, and then uh, I have to go into the input, right? So we're gonna have the actions. Um, what do I have? A melee block, disarm, um, make that. I think as of right now, I don't have a. What is this one? I don't know. You know what I mean? No, not that one. Uh, Input triggers. I don't have a trigger. I guess you could do a trigger, right? Maybe I should. Um, pressed. I don't know. I might come back to that. But either way, disarm. And then we'll go ahead and add it here. So you've got your input ability, melee, disarm. Um, once we have those, you're just going to have to go into your mappings, add it to keyboard and mouse down here. Um, Again, I just I've got it into alt left. Um, the reason for that is I think my melee is also alt left. Um, but this is when you have a gun. This is when you're uh, melee, right? So how we keep those separate is we're going to go into weapons, put this into here. So I'll come into there in a second. Uh, no, I guess it's not going in here. Uh, it is, but um, yeah. So I just I have this ability in here. So we don't have it in where your main abilities are, right? It's going to be under, um, no, it's not under here. It's under game. Um, these are your, your ability set, right? So these are going to be where you have um, some other things. Uh, okay, so the next step that we're going to do is add this to, where do we have our melee yes yeah, so they're going to be under game um where i've done it, i'm doing a base one again and i guess because i if i want different animations um i will create and i think i just copied this one so you're just going to drag it copy it and then uh going into here under here you just do blueprint class and then you're going to do ga melee uh, disarm base and that's how we get this uh, kickboxing disarm but before we do that let's go back into the game melee the disarm base okay so uh, I just copied the regular melee right so that's why it ends up being the with the widget I could reparent it um, I might I was reading somewhere someone said that they were getting a huge performance gain um, there's a, a big draw on the widget I guess I could always run that and run um, to see I forget what the um, I don't know, I forget what the command is. I'd have to look that up to see, you know, what my profiling is to see where where stuff is. But anyways, um, I'll get to that later on how to optimize everything. I, I might do a separate video on, on optimizing stuff. But uh, we're going to have this on activate ability. We're going to run a montage. I do want to stop when ability ends because uh, I have on here some things that we're going to end the ability early. Right, so I'm, I'm driving, and you can kind of see I'm coming off here. I'm ending it early, and it's because unlike kicking and punching, right? Like if I go to kick you and I miss, that's cool, right? Like it, it works. If for whatever reason, though, um, I go to disarm you, I guess I could. I could let it run out where your character tries to disarm someone. Um, but if you go up to a car, I guess you could punch a car, but like could you try and disarm a car? It depends on the animation you want. Um, but again, we're kind of doing the same thing. Uh, we do need to check if we have authority. So replication on this one. I'm actually going to have to um, make sure we double check. So, but let's just let's double check these. So I've got, it is replicating. The ability tags are action melee. Is this? Let me just double check. Um, yeah, melee. This wasn't 
in any issue. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, this input tag weapon ADS. Um, I haven't messed with that because it, it didn't seem right to me I, when I programmed some other stuff, but this one, I don't know, it's, it's on the melee too, right? Like I definitely did not do that. I didn't put that there, but it hasn't messed anything up. So I'm not, I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to break it if it's not broken. I don't know if, if Unreal did that. It doesn't seem like they would have done that on purpose. Um, but I don't know. If someone knows why that looks like that, let me know in the comments. But um, either way, so we're going to check to see if we have authority. So if we do, this is where we're going to run some of the trace. So this hits trace, this is copied, um, I think actually directly from the melee. Um, I did tone it down because I don't have on the melee i actually so i toned this one down too i think it was at like 350. this one i changed to 100. i might have to change that back um let me go back to the graph but you have this where you move your character uh, and i do not have that uh on here anything like that i don't like it it's not fitting the style of my game i guess technically you could you could run that on yours but it just didn't fit. So this hit trace is essentially the same notice. I didn't really do anything with this Lyra character. I may do something with it in the future, but I don't think so. I might just delete it later. But um, again, all of this is copied directly from the melee. Um, I'm going to break the hit result. I'm coming up into a branch. Uh, if it's false, I'm going to come down here and end it. I'm checking to see if it has a gameplay ability. Uh, if it's not valid, I'm ending it. I'm going to off this hit actor. That's where I'm going to get the player controller. From the player controller, so this is actually the person that you are stealing the weapon from. Here you're going to grab their quick bar component and their Lyra inventory manager component. Um, you could promote those to variables. I didn't really do any variables on here. Um, I tried to keep them as light and simple as possible. So I do have a lot of these, it does get to some spaghetti, I guess, over here. But let's not talk about it. We'll we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, I I always like to debug stuff. I don't know what I was debugging here, what what some issues were, but when I was programming it. Um, so this one has to do with the weapons, right? So I have the melee weapons in slot zero. So I'm just checking to make sure that it's slot one or above. Um, if you do your melee differently, I guess, if you have a sword, you know, you might want to do it differently. Um, but this way you can't slap someone's kung fu out of their hand unless, I don't know, maybe you want your character to be magical and he can, like, take away their powers. That would be kind of cool, I guess. I don't know if that fits your game. If if that fits what you're doing, that sounds cool, dude. So, um, anyways, we are going to then check to see if that is, like I said, so if it's... Um, in the quick bar component one or greater. Uh, if we're not, we're just going to end the ability. Um, but if it is, we're going to remove the item from the slot. So this is in the quick bar. We're going to remove the item from slot. And then we are going to remove the item instance from their inventory manager. Right? Uh, you want to come out of this return. I forget what this returns. It's an object reference. Um, but this is what we're removing as well. Uh, you do want to then come over here because this is, so I think this is a custom function that I have uh, in my code. And this is the find fragment by class. And then this is, no, maybe this one's not. This is, um, this weapon slot is a uh, custom code. Um, this find fragment's not, I think that's in the standard Lyra library. Um, but this weapon slot, that's something that I added because we're going to check to see if it's one. Now, the reason why we're checking to see if it's one, I guess you could do greater than one, right? So if it's a like a rifle, you could slap it out of their hand and take it too. But I think as of right now, I only have... Um, uh, hmm, I might actually have to fix that. It might have to be greater than one. And then I'll put the check to see if it is... Um, over here. Now the reason why I have this is we're going to get the slots. If the So here we're going to do get controller from actor. We're going to get the quick bar slot. So this is our character. Okay, We're going to get the slot. We're going to check to see if there is a weapon in slot 1. Right? If there is a weapon, so if it's valid, right? if it's returning something is there, we're going to knock the gun out of their hand. So that means we're going to spawn an actor, 
okay? And this is this B dropped weapon. Um, I did modify this a little bit, I think in the drop weapon tutorial that I did. Um, this wasn't replicated, and so I was running into some issues. It could have just been my stupid mistake, I guess, but um, you wanna make sure that this variable is replicated. And then um, on here, I think net load decline is checked, replicate um, is checked. Um, or not checked, so I checked it. Uh, whatever the grenade is, I just copied that because that one works fine. Um, for whatever reason, this was not working for me. It was spawning the other stuff, or it wasn't spawning on the server. Um, or it was spawning on the server, it wasn't spawning on the client side. But uh, the grenade does, the grenade works fine, so I just copied what um, all of these variables were off of the grenade. Um, but again, just make sure that this is replicated so that way... Um, you get your gun or else it's going to be invisible. You can't see it and it's just a big, big problem. So, um, but that is what you are spawning. The location on that is, again, I think I copied this straight from the grenade uh, with the exception of I'm actually, so I'm getting the forward vector on the grenade. I'm getting the right vector. I'm multiplying that by negative 90. I guess I could have gotten the left vector, uh, but I don't know. I just typed in right and that worked. Uh, and I'm going to add that to the actual location, and then that's my output. Uh, and then here, again, I think all of this is straight straight from the, the grenade. So just copy and paste. Um, however, if the weapon is not valid, right? So if my character does not have a pistol, I am going to steal his pistol. So there is a bit of, like I said, spaghetti code. So what you want to do is you want to grab the remove item from slot this object reference this is where you're going to pull off of this is going to be plugged into quite a few places so you want to make sure that you look at this uh, know that this anytime i come back to this node it's coming right off this uh, remove item from slot so when it's not valid we're going to add item definition oh sorry uh, this item definition is also on the actor that we're spawning uh, and then we're also getting the spare ammo and the magazine ammo. I guess you don't have to do the spare ammo. Um, you could just do that as, as zero if you don't want anything. I might change that later, but um, if you do, it's it's lyra.shootergame.weapon.spareammo and then magazine ammo. Uh, I'm, in fact, I might notice if I take the gun, um, I'm not adding the spare ammo. I'm only adding the magazine ammo. So I might take out the uh, the spare ammo on that. Um, but anyways, so getting back to this. So if it's not valid, we're going to add the item definition. Stat count one, we're going to get the item definition. I guess technically I could have just pulled this off here or plugged it into there because this is the same thing. Again, all coming off here. We are then going to get the controller from actor, right? So this is our character. This is the player's character, not the target, not the person that you've been um, hitting with the ray trace. So this is ours. So from here, we're going to get the manager, the inventory manager component, and that's gonna be put into here, and then we're gonna get this item definition, and we're gonna add the item definition. From there, we are going to add item to slot. And because it's a pistol, we're going to add it to slot one. If I wanted to do a rifle, I might do this in the future. Um, I could always do a check to see if this slot is the same. Um, I, if you guys, I mean, I could show you how to program it later, but as of right now, I'm only doing the pistol. The animation that I had really only works for the pistol. Um, so that's why I'm only doing the pistol. If it's a gun, I could just slap it out of the hand. Uh, and if it's a Kung Fu or, you know, whatever the melee combat is, they won't be doing it. So that's why I have slot index. I've left this open. I pre-programmed it. I haven't plugged anything into there because um, we're going to add it to slot one. And then again, kind of coming off. So this is actually coming off the quick bar, right? So we need to plug that into the target, this return value into the item. And then we're also plugging that into the set active slot index. And then we're setting it to one, which is gonna be the same as here. Um, coming off of, uh, sorry. So we've got this add stat <laughs> tag stack, sorry. Um, and that's that magazine ammo that I was talking about. Uh, so we're going to be grabbing that same item definition. 
we're going to find the first item stack by definition. Actually, not too sure why. I think I copied that from the uh, was it the pad. Um, but we're grabbing the return value into the target here, and then the return value from here into uh, our stat tag. So that is going to then give you the weapon. If you don't want to, if you just want a disarm, you just run here, and then I guess you could end the ability here. Um, if it's not valid, uh, or no, you wouldn't even have to check to see if it's valid. You could just end it uh, with spawning the weapon. But if you want to be able to take the weapon, this is where you run it. So then I guess the last step is uh, just going back into the weapons and go into the uh, kickboxing disarm. And then you just, whatever your montage that you want to use. Um, so I guess that. So you can change some of these variables here if you want, but I think that's really the only thing. Um, that's it. That's the only thing that I changed in here. That should be it. I think this one, was this a faster video? No, not at all. I'm sorry. I'm always horribly slow. Anyways, that is the disarm. Um, again, I'm going to do, I think, one more video on the, the melee combat. I'm going to clean it up, obviously, as I go um, do some other ones. But um, as far as the how-tos, I'm trying to, to finish up the, the melee combat. But the next one to come is going to be grabbing a hostage. So that will be the you know, how to run animations on the target, kind of that full um, full body react stuff like that. So I'm going to kind of do a combination of blocking inputs, maybe possessing, to be honest, I, I haven't done it yet, so I don't know. But uh, that's what's coming next. And then I'll be moving on to hopefully some cool AI stuff and programming some fun AI for you and then some game modes and kind of get into the meat and potatoes of the gameplay. So I will... Uh, I'll be back soon, but hopefully you guys like this video. Um, if you did, like, subscribe, all of those things. Send me to other people if they might like this game or not. You don't have to. No pressure, I guess. But I will see you guys next time.